It is of course Saturday, so that means it's time for our weekly early look at the upcoming Team of the Week. It has of course been internationals being played over the past week, which I won't lie, doesn't make for good viewing for me personally. I'm not that into the international games, but it does normally mean that we get a good Team of the Week from it. So hopefully we are going to get a good one, and I can already tell you it's pretty likely we're going to see quite a few high-rated items as well, as you could probably have already seen from the thumbnail. As per usual, do leave a like rating on the video if you enjoyed this kind of content and don't forget to be active in the comments below. Let me know your thoughts on what players you are about to see in this video. Maybe watch the video and then tell me your thoughts. That would probably make more sense. Also, let me know which players you feel I have missed out. Now, before we talk about potential informs, let me make something very clear. In this video, we are mainly going to focus on the qualifiers because that's what EA are most likely to pick. However, international friendlies can and do count towards team of the weeks. It's just normally got to be, you know, a pretty big exceptional performance for them to get in over a player who's played in the qualifiers. So just something to note right there. That is how it's worked in the past anyways. Anyway, let's go. So we start with Azerbaijan against Luxembourg and we do have a very obvious candidate in the form of Rodriguez getting himself on the score sheet twice and picking up an assist as well. So I do expect him to get in. Ireland and Portugal ended in a nil-nil draw and if I'm being honest, I don't see anything coming from this game as things stand. Uh, Georgia and Sweden ended in a 2 nil scoreline. The standout players from Georgia um, aren't in ultimate team so because of that, it's unlikely likely we see an inform coming from this match and then we come on to Spain's win against Greece 1-0 victory and your standout player possibly is Jose Gaia who actually could be a pretty good inform should EA choose to select him the only goal in this game being a penalty from Pablo Sarabia we then move on to Russia's pretty big win against Cyprus it was a 6-0 scoreline in the end uh, the most um, obvious standout player is probably the midfielder who scored twice but since he's not in ultimate team the next best option for EA is going to be Smolov, who got himself a goal and a assist in this win. So we could see him this week. Croatia and Malta finished in a 7-1 scoreline, so another huge game in terms of goals. And there are quite a few options from this match. Um... I think Modric is probably my favourite candidate right now, but Kramaric is probably um, also there as well with a goal and two assists for him, whereas Modric got himself a goal and a assist. But um, yeah, we'll see what EA go for. But right now it's between them two, and because Kramaric already has an inform, I'm kind of looking at Modric instead, but uh, we'll have to see. Once I've seen more match ratings, I'll probably make a better decision. Uh, Slovakia and Slovenia finished in a 2-2 draw, and it is ultimately one of them games where I just can't see a special card coming from it. We move on to Armenia versus North Macedonia, and there's a pretty obvious candidate from this game. We've got Bardi, who got himself a hat-trick from midfield, so he should make it, but it is worth noting two of his goals where penalties but to be honest in a week like this I can't see that affecting him too badly I reckon he will get in and then we have this ridiculous score on Germany 9 Liechtenstein 0 so yeah there are certainly options from the German national team we've got Sane, Royce, Muller, Baku one of them will get in. So you've got Muller with two goals. You've got Marco Royce with a goal and two assists. Leroy Sane found in the back of the net twice. And Baku also scoring. I'm currently favouring Marco Royce. Now, obviously, it'll be a bit of a pointless inform due to his road to the knockouts being better. But, um, yeah, still. I, I think it is deserved, so we'll see what happens on Wednesday. Romania and Iceland, nil-nil scoreline in this one. Uh, the goalkeeper is the standout in this match from Iceland. And he actually is in Ultimate Team, but he's a 58-rated player. And EA don't normally like giving informs to bronze players, so despite having a really good performance, I'm not as confident as maybe I should be in saying he will get an inform because in my opinion it would be deserved but um, as I say I don't know if EA will put him in the squad because of his rating. Ecuador and Venezuela ended in a 1-0 scoreline thanks to a goal from Piero who got a goal and a clean sheet as a CB so maybe a card for him. Potential silver stars as well that would be a pretty nice item. Alexis Sanchez got the only goal in a win for Chile. 
actually. Also, man of the match, so uh, another option right there. And then we have some games which I just don't think will produce an inform item as things stand. A lot of them ending in a draw. That's one of the reasons why we are skipping through them fairly quick. So, uh, yeah, let's move on. And uh, once again, I'm just finding more and more draws. Um, any decent amount of saves in this game? Matty Ryan made three. And uh, the other goalkeeper made four. Uh, Japan won 1-0 thanks to a goal from Junior Ito. But uh, he's very recently had an inform, therefore won't get in again. So that pretty much sums us up for... Uh, Thursday's action. We now move on to Friday's action. Italy and Switzerland finished in a 1-1 draw. Uh, Northern Ireland claimed a 1-0 victory against Lithuania, so uh, maybe someone from there, but uh, I don't think it's too likely as things stand. Uh, Scotland won 2-0 against Moldova, and there probably is some options um, from this game, because uh, yeah, it was a good win for Scotland. Kieran Tierney, by the way, made an absolutely outstanding block um, after a, p a penalty was saved. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I can hope, right? I don't think Kirantini is going to pick up an inform this week, but as an Arsenal fan, I've got to have that hope. Uh, maybe the goalkeeper for the penalty stop, but uh, I just don't feel like that will happen. Um, anyway, Austria won 4-2 against Israel. Couple of options from this game. Arnautovic got himself a goal and a assist. And uh, there is also uh, Louis Schaub, who got himself on the score sheet twice. Denmark, 3-1 victory against the Faroe Islands. And um, another game where there is some options, but... Um, no one that's really screaming out to me. Poland got themselves a 4-1 win against Andorra and Lewandowski is the obvious standout with two goals and a assist in this match. None of them penalties, so uh, he could finally be picking up an inform item in FIFA 22. He's had a few weeks where he's deserved one, hasn't got in. Maybe this will be the week. Talking of high-rated strikers, Harry Kane is pretty much locked in as well. Three goals and a assist for him in a 5-0 win for England against Albania. Now, there is a chance... Admittedly, I don't think it's a great one, but I think there's a chance that we do see a record breaker, Harry Kane. He became England's all-time top goal scorer in competitive matches uh, with these goals. So because of that, there is a chance we do see a record breaker Kane. But like I've said, I'm not super confident in it at the moment, but we will see. Alternative options from this match include Jordan Henderson, who got himself a goal and a assist. And there's also Maguire, who got himself a goal. But to be honest, England didn't have a crazy amount of defending to do. So so uh, I don't think um, Maguire has too much of a chance. Look, it's going to be Kane, isn't it? It's going to be Kane. It's just a matter of whether it's an inform or a record breaker item. Hungary recorded a 4-0 win against San Marino. And uh, we have Zlobozlai, who uh, was your standout. Two goals from him in this one. And uh, yeah, he should be getting in for that. Brazil won Colombia nil thanks to a goal from Luis Paqueta. This would actually be quite a nice inform should it happen. Peru beat Bolivia 3-0 and Argentina. Argentina beat Uruguay 1-0. Um, Algeria 4-0 victory. A um, couple of players who maybe could get in here. Um, Saeed Benrahma is probably the standout for me with a goal and a assist. And also he's been very good for West Ham as of late. So it would be, you know, very much deserved. Gabon won 1-0 thanks to a Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang penalty. But um, as much as I would like an inform for that, it's not going to happen. And uh, Angola and Egypt drew 2-2. And then the final game to discuss from France is uh, Morocco's 3-0 win against Sudan, which, to be honest, there isn't too much to discuss. I don't think this game will produce a special card. And we finally now get on to Saturday's action, and we have a lot, and I mean quite a lot, to discuss. So we'll start with this game, Ivory Coast winning 3-0 against Mozambique. We've got Cameroon with a 4-0 victory, so there's a chance of an inform coming from that. Nigeria won 2-0, but we've got both goals being penalties. Just can't see anything coming, and uh, we've already got um, a Cape Verde um, option from earlier in the week. Don't think Guinea will pick up an inform. I don't actually think they have a player in Ultimate Team. Don't quote me on that. I might be wrong. Um, Zambia won 4-0. Um, Sakala got himself a hat-trick. One of the goals was a penalty, but that really shouldn't hurt him this week. And to be fair, this guy was actually very unlucky not to be in a previous Team of the Week 
uh, where EA went for Tavernier instead. So hopefully he makes it this week. Also, if he doesn't get into Team of the Week, potential Silver Star. That would be pretty cool, wouldn't it? Um, anyway, USA beat Mexico 2-0. I do expect an inform to come from this game. So we could see Pulisic, we could see Weyer, or we could see Weston McKenney. And I'm actually going to predict McKenney to not only be an inform, but also to be the featured Team of the Week inform as well. Canada won 1-0. Jamaica and El Salvador drew 1-1. And uh, this game ended in a 3-2 scoreline. Now, we've got a couple of games that are still ongoing, but I'm going to imagine there won't be any more goals. Uh, this game's currently active. It's 2-2. Nothing will come from it as it is a draw. But if Depay can get a late winner, then maybe. But by the time you guys are watching this, the game will be over. And to be honest, by the time I edit this video, this game will be over. So I've corrected any mistake. But I get the feeling it's going to end as a draw. Turkey won 6-0, so I'm expecting an inform to come from this game. And there are multiple options. But I'm going to go for Yilmaz, who got himself free assists. Norway and Latvia finished in a 0-0 scoreline. Because of that, can't see anything coming from it. Wales won 5-1 against Belarus. And uh, maybe we could see an inform Aaron Ramsey. He got himself two goals. There are other options, though. Harry Wilson got himself two assists. And uh, Connor Roberts also got himself um, a goal as well, as so did Ben Davies and Nico Williams. So uh, plenty of goals from the defenders in that one. Belgium, 3-1 victory against Estonia. Um, you've got two options. You've got Benteke, goal and a assist. And you've also got Carrasco. I'm actually going to go with Benteke on this occasion. And uh, then we have Finland's 3-1 win against Bosnia. Um, anything going to come from this? I'm not too confident as things stand. Um, possibly the midfielder, Lord. Uh, there is also Hirodeki who made six saves, so I suppose he is also worthy of a mention. Finally, though, we have to speak about the France game. 8-0 win against Kazakhstan. I think we all knew France were going to win this game comfortably, but it was it was all about Mbappe, especially like in the first half an hour because he completed a hat-trick within the first half an hour. But he wasn't done there. He ended with four goals and an assist, so... Uh, yeah, we're going to get that inform in Mbappe this week. I'll be very, very shocked if we do not. There are obviously other candidates from this game, but like it'll be just so surprising if EA do not go for him, especially after you know that kind of uh, goal return. So inform Mbappe should be coming. So it's going to be another sweaty week of weekend league. So that's that. That is your early look at team of the week number nine. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Also, let me know how you get on in champs this weekend. Did you manage to get that red Neymar? I certainly didn't. I can't remember who my reds were. I think one of them was Sommer and... I, I think the other one was that Everton, so uh, yeah, not too great. I didn't get Ben White, which I'm gutted about, but I did get Goretzka in my team to eat pack, so pretty pleased with that. Anyway, let's wrap this video up. Hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, likes, comments, all that good stuff, click one of the playlists on the screen. That will really help me out. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.